Yo, Scorch on today's video, I got the second uh, remake and stuff. I will be remaking the how to make teleporters in Roblox. Now, what I technically did in that video was actually accurate, but while doing commissions months like long after I made that video, um, I have realized that like the issue is that it's like it wouldn't teleport your full character, it would only teleport a part of your character, the human group, not the full character. And there's actually a built in function that actually allows um, you to just easily move a model. In other words, move the character, right? So, yeah, I'll, I'll be getting into that. So, yeah. Um, so called. Sorry, guys, I got a little distracted. So anyway, okay. So, of course, first and first, we're gonna need two teleporters. Let's go ahead and make them real quick. Once there are two blocks, we will scale them. We'll make one red. And we'll call this teleporter one teleporter one right and then we will of course anchor it and then we can go ahead and duplicate it and then oh didn't mean to do that and then we can just drag it like right next to it it really doesn't have to be that far away for the video and then we'll make this one blue and then change its name to teleporter two and then pretty much you guys could you guys really could have it to where you could just have like um you could have one main script in server script service uh, handling all the teleport if that's what you wanted to do. Or you could just uh, have two scripts individually. Like you have one script in teleporter, one script in, one script in teleporter one, one script in teleporter two. But I feel like it's just easier just to have one script that just handles everything with it, if slash else if statements. But anyway, so we'll call the script our teleport teleporter handler script, right? And we can create all this. We're gonna need to make two variables, right? We're gonna get the teleporter. So let's do local. Oh, sorry, local teleporter. Actually, no. To be honest, we can really choose a four IV in pairs for this. Actually, now that I think about it, since they're already if they if it's already placed in the workspace, like like as in like it's already like if they're te if your teleporters are already placed like upon joining the game and stuff like it's already loaded like it's not something that you're spawning in via a script you can just use a 4 IV and parasleep now if you're spawning in every script and it might be like a little bit after then it would be better to make variables for it but for this we can just do 4 IV and pairs game that workspace get children then we can do if v dot name is equal to teleporter one then v dot touched connect function function right then parentheses we'll put hit right then we'll do if hit dot parent this is not autofill by the way colon find first child then parentheses quotation marks humanoid then hit dot oh sorry hit dot parent move to this is the built-in function right and then here you put you put vector coordinates right so pretty much since, since this is what happens when a person touches teleporter one we would say we would obviously say move to game dot workspace dot teleporter two and keep in mind you have to put vector coordinates so don't just put like the instance you need to put like vector three coordinates so a position i should say right and then we will go here right we can just press enter right here and then we would put else if statement and we're just doing the same thing pretty much else if v dot name is equal to teleporter two then v dot touched connect function you could technically really just copy it down but it don't really matter if hit dot parent find first child in parentheses humanoid is literally the same thing then we just press enter on that then hit now here's where the difference comes into play hit that parent move to then game dot workspace dot teleporter one dot position and just like that we are done alrighty we can go ahead and test this let's go ahead and click play and let's all right let's step on the teleporters and let's go ahead and try boom as you guys can see it is it, it's working obviously like in it okay oh all right we're, we're, we're a little stuck i see okay all right obviously in a real game you obviously wouldn't like ha you wouldn't have a teleporter that would teleport you right on top of another teleporter as that, doesn't, as that literally doesn't make any type of sense you would actually you would like realistically you would have like a you would teleport to a part and there would probably be a teleporter like close to the part you know what i mean like there would be a part right here 
and we would teleport to this part rather than teleport because you would just get stuck in infinite teleport which would really make sense but anyway yeah that's how you teleporters and stuff this is the updated version 223 version more efficient and just a better way to go about it hope this video was helpful if it was leave a like and subscribe appreciate y'all for watching and yeah i'll see you guys